Danger hides in the stars. This is the world of Jason of Star Command. A space-age soldier of fortune determined to stop the most sinister force in the universe. Dragos, master of the cosmos. Aiding Jason in his battle against evil is a talented team of experts, all working together in a secret section of Space Academy. Jason of Star Command. The time, the distant future. Man has reached the farther stars, but has also uncovered dark, mysterious galaxies. And as Star Command heads into the unknown, danger lies in wait. It is coming into range, Master. Good. Locking the torpedoes on the Academy's power modules. A direct hit will disable them. Yes, Master. Well, it's a cute parts of foot, but it looks like a toy. Looks can be deceiving. It's something I've designed especially for you. Oh, to do what? You name it. It can be a laser, a tiny rocket ship, a... a well, uh, 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 <clears throat> an X-ray device. You mean that little gadget can do all that? Come on. A gadget? J Jason, please. More than... A gadget. A true mini robot. You. I know. I know. His serial number is W1K1. W1K1. That looks like Wiki. And it talks, too. <laughs> well, now we're going to get along just fine. And he'll live right here. <laughs> And I think we'll put him right here. Fire! What was that? Could have been a meteorite. Attention! Attention! This is no work! Damage in quadrant five, level B. Nicole's in there. Let's go. Red Dragon number one to base. A direct hit. Further instructions, Master. This is Dragos. That will be all for the moment. Return to the Dragon ship. Yes, Master. together just fine. Jason! Jason, are you all right? I'm fine, I'm fine. How's Nicole? Out of breath, no more. She's advising the commander about the damage. And where is he? On another one of his new planet expeditions. She thought he might have some ideas about the meteorite that hit us. From what you tell me, Nicole, 
All systems were operating normally before the explosion. Is that correct? That's correct, Commander. There were no system failures. I can't imagine a meteorite with that kind of an impact. If it wasn't a meteorite, Commander, what was it? Ah, uh, Jason, I don't know, but whatever it was, it has me concerned. I'm returning immediately. I will report... Commander! What's wrong? What do you see? Commander! Commander! Commander. What happened? He's disappeared. Commander! First we're hit by a mysterious meteorite and... Now the commander disappears. It's the commander's emergency locator signal. That is impossible. Nicole, are you sure that's what it is? That's the commander's ident coding. He's alive. Oh. Hold it, hold it. What's this? An alien ship. But it couldn't be. Our probes read negative. It's as if there's nothing there. Is there and you can bet it has something to do with the commander and with whatever hit us i'm going to find out what i'm with you jason not this time professor i'm going alone <laughs> almost alone need some help well as long as you're here welcome aboard no sign of the alien ship but the coordinates on the commander's signal are over there Jason there's the commander Jason. escape pod. That's where we part company. I can't leave you alone. I'm not alone. Come on, get going. Get ready, Professor. I'm going to jettison the minicat. Head for the academy. 
and make it fast. Right, Jason. And good luck. Command is the strongest force in the galaxy. I will allow no one to interfere with my plans for total conquest. You overestimate yourself, Dragos. Never. On all the planets in the galaxy is evil, won out over decency and honesty and freedom. It's a lesson that tyrants like you have to learn. Enough! Beliefs are insignificant to me. You are no longer a problem. Now, only Star Command stands between me and my destiny. But soon, it too will be in my hands. Jason. Now, you shall see more.
exactly as the commander's clone is doing at this very moment. <laughs> Say, Nicole, are the defense shield controls in working order? Of course. Why? I thought it might be a wise idea to shut them down and run a few tests. Shut them down? Oh, you can't do that, especially with an alien ship in the vicinity. Ah, yes, I must have forgotten. Perhaps I'm still a bit shaken. If the shields are turned off even for a moment, we'd be completely defenseless. Of course, you're right. That's a risk we can't take. Professor, prepare a starfire for immediate launch. Nicole, what are you going to do? Find Jason. Good. the commander and Parsifoot got away. Jason, Dragos has you too? I, I thought that you and Parsifoot... No, Jason, not me. Oh, I get it. We thought we rescued you, but Dragos played a trick on us. We sent your energy clone back to the Academy. <sighs> what on earth is that? Commander! Meet Wiki. Our ticket out of here. Okay, Wiki. A lock in the outside of this cage. Do your thing. You haven't seen anything yet, Commander. Get to Dracos. Commander, we'll be back for you.
listen to me. The real commander is with me. He was captured by a dangerous tyrant named Dragos. The commander at Star Command is a clone. Stop him. you dearly and you have accomplished nothing. Soon Star Command will be in my control. This is your master, Dragos. Complete your mission. Yes, master. <laughs> <laughs> Commander, what are you doing? Shutting off the defense shield. You can't. There are dangerous alien ships in the sector. Yes, dangerous to Star Command. That is precisely why I am shutting off the shield. I don't know what's going on, Commander. But I can't let you do that. I'm calling security. Don't try to stop me. I'll freeze you in your tracks. You should have obeyed me. <laughs> it's far enough, whoever you are. Commander, I can't believe... He's not the commander. It's a clone. A creation of a power-mad alien named Dragos. Let's get him to a secure area. Come on, this way. Come on. Soon your energy clone will be ready, Jason. Then stage two of my plan to conquer Star Command will begin. Well, so far, stage one hasn't been a smashing success. Take him away. You shall not escape this time, Jason. <laughs> Security has him locked up. Good. I still can't believe it. He really had me fooled. He looked exactly like the commander. And if you hadn't come along when you did, Nicole, he would have turned off our defense shields, and Dragos would have just walked right in and taken us over. <sighs> By the way, where'd you learn to kick like that? Just a little advanced kung fu, Professor. The ancient art of Chinese self-defense. Uh, think you could, uh, teach me? Anytime. But right now I'm gonna go check up on the false commander. Yo, I'd better go along with you. You know, just in case. Good idea. I would feel safer if you were there. As you were. there, Wiki? It's a good thing Dragos doesn't know about you. Commander, is anyone coming? The coast is clear, Jason. Let's see if he can do something about these bracelets.
Okay, friend. Do your thing. Good work, Wiki. One more time, friend. Jason and the commander. Do not let them escape. Yes, master. Jason, prepare a Starfire for immediate launch. This is Command Center. Stand by to launch Starfire. <laughs> Master, we have searched, but there is no trace of them. They are here. Find them. Yes, Master. your help. Dragos, please help me, Master. Use your energy reserves to vaporize the bars. Jason, what about you? Somebody has to open up the space lock so the Starfire can take off, and I've just elected myself. But Don't waste time arguing. Come on, Commander, before somebody comes.
Giovanni. You shall pay dearly for your actions, Jason. Soon your precious star command will be under my control. <laughs> The Academy is defenseless, Jason. <laughs> now, Jason, you shall see my power. Soon the clone of your commander will make the Academy defenseless. Shutting off the defense shield. Get back, Professor. But you can't do that. The Academy will be defenseless. Perfect. Then my master, Dragos, can attack. Get back! Are you in control? Yes, master. Complete your mission. Yes, master, yes. Immediately. Jason, do you see my power? The Academy is defenseless, Jason! Neutron Jammers, disable the Academy immediately! dungeon. Throne of Clavu. And Dragos? He was my father's prime minister. When my father died, Dragos was determined to take over. So he transformed you into a creature? Yes. As well as all of my followers. Dragos! He will change me back into a beast and you too! 
What we have to do is find a way out of this haunted castle. We could get one of the mini-cat escape pods, but they're controlled from Dragos' throne room. One problem at a time. Stand by, Princess. One view of myself I can live without. There, the mini cat. And it's one of ours. Automatic relay to launch the ship. Dragos didn't see us. I put the minicat in remote control. That ought to give him something to chew on. This is 
Jason calling Star Command. Mayday. Mayday, do you read me? Come in, do you read me? Jason, is that you? Repeat message. Take it through. Well, Wiki, looks like it's up to you. I know you'll do your best. Go on out there and get some help. And don't waste any time. Happy landing. Not so fast. Jason's in trouble. All right, now slowly. I need the exact coordinates. Don't worry, we'll find him now. Oh, it's no use. Controls won't respond. And we're getting near and nearer to that sun. Any word from Commander Carnarvon? Not since he escaped from the alien ship, Professor. But he should have been back long ago. Yes, sir. We'll try to establish contact. Attention, Star Command. This is Dragos. Your ship is falling fast into the heart of an exploding sun. Without your defense shields, you are helpless. I would prefer to capture your ship intact. Therefore, I am offering you a choice. Surrender immediately and I will cease jamming your control generators. If not, well. <clears throat> this is Professor E.J. Parsifoot speaking. I'm, 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 I'm in control here. And the answer is no. Fool! Do you realize what will happen to your vessel when it collides with the sun? Yes, I do. But we'll take our chances. The Academy will be mine in any case. I am offering to spare your vessel irreparable damage. We appreciate your kindness. But the answer is still no. Have 30 seconds. Then I will withdraw my offer. What about the defense shields? Still inoperative, sir. Our controls are still being jammed. There is no more time. Will you surrender? Never.
Thank you, Wiki. And who's this? Oh, Nicole Nidalegra, the Crown Princess of Clavu. Dragos had her in his power, usurped her throne. A little matter I intend to square one of these days. Come in, Star Command. Jason, Nicole, Dragos is jamming our control generators. We're falling into a sun. No chance. You must help us. Professor, come in. Professor, what can we do? Get to the dragon ship. Stop the jamming beam. Somehow, before it's too late. Stand by the controls, Professor. We'll do something. I don't know what. Something. Master, the Star Command Starfire, now in green sector. Captain, I want every ship that Star Command possesses. In the meantime, I'm more interested in seeing how well the Academy can fare in the heart of an exploding sun. <laughs> Dragonship. He wants a star fire? We'll give him one. Jason, what are you doing? I've activated the destruct circuits. Turn on your life support systems. You mean you're gonna blow up the star fire? Exactly. In the mouth of the dragon ship. Now get ready to bail out. I'll take the star fire in. Jason, that's very gallant of you, but you're forgetting this one thing. Drago's sensors would notice an absence of life forms. We'll all have to stay to the very last possible second or else I know we got away. Yes. I'm sending Wiki out to tell the commander where we are. Okay, little pal. You do your stuff. Okay, we go next. Now. Let's set down someplace before Drago spots us. That planetoid down there. Let's head for it. Atmosphere checks. Look. It worked. Emergency power immediately. We disabled the dragon ship. That should help the Academy. Wait! Something's happened. Jason must have gotten to Dracos. The, the beam's been shut off, and our energizers are activating themselves. We have control! Full flank power, ahead all engines. Damage report. Repair crews at work, Master. We shall have full control back within the hour. The Starfire ship and its crew, what about them? There was no crew aboard, Master. The ship was empty. No crew. They're out there somewhere. Red Dragon interceptors. Search Sector 5 for Jason and his companions. Launch! Launch! 
Well, we're safe. For now. Let's hope Wiki gets through to the Academy. Pretty Allegra, but we don't have any time for that. Just stick close to us, huh? Do not talk to me that way, Jason. On my planet, I am a princess. I do as I please. But we're not on your planet. Just stick close to us. Come on, let's go. Jason, I'm sorry. It's all right. We all make dumb moves from time to time. Even little princesses. <laughs> Thanks, Nicole. Anytime. Meanwhile, we've got to find a way off this rock. Just hope Wiki got through. Commander, it's Wiki. He's trapped by one of Drago's ships. He might just be able to do something about that. Now, deflectors, full power. We can intercept that tractor beam. <laughs> Docking crew, pick up the mini robot. Sir, <clears throat> his name is Wiki. Yes, I know. Wiki, pick him up.
You fool. Thanks to Wiki, we now know where Jason and Nicole are. The problem is getting to them. Dragos will be waiting. And our energy is too low to risk fighting him. <laughs> Don't worry, Wiki. We won't leave him there. Suppose Dragos ran into an ion storm. An ion storm? Uh, how do we do that, Professor? <laughs> well, not a real one. Aha. Uh -huh. Commander, my latest invention. seems to have had its effect on Dragos. <laughs> it should distract him long enough for us to reach Nicole and Jason. See you again, Wiki. Dragos. Your little illusion was very clever, Professor Parsifoot. However, it did not fool me for long. You have interfered with my plans for the last time. Now, you shall become a part of the limbo of the lost. Out of space. Out of time beyond anything your childish science knows. <laughs> Princess. I'll set the gyros to get you back to the academy. The mini cat is too small for Dragos' scanners to pick up. No, Jason. I should stay with you. Not this time, Princess.
There's a planet down there. Get ready to land. Ship's dead. Limbo of the lost. What did he mean? We'll soon find out. Atmosphere checks. Let's go. Jason, look. Some kind of time war? Ahoy there, mates! Welcome to Drago's Isle of Exile. Kid is the name. Captain Kid. Drago's first mate, you might say. Put them in arms! My young fella, I'm going to relieve you of this very nice spring. There's always room for more in Drago's treasure chest. The infamous Captain Kidd. How does it feel to be one of Drago's lackeys, Captain? Lackeys? <laughs> oh, that's a good one. Keeper of the treasure, it'd be more like I and what treasure? Gold, silver, rubies, emeralds, pearls. Gold? Silver? Where is this treasure? Oh, well, now maybe I don't tell you. That's for me to know and you to find out. That's my little well-kept secret. Well, if it's treasure you want, I'll make a trade with you. I have a priceless little treasure that I'll give to you if you release us. Well, give it to me, my lad, and you'll be as free as the North Wind. You have my word as a gentleman for that. Now, uh, where is this little treasure? Look right in there. Jason! <laughs> Fancy that, a little talking doll. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. What about releasing us? Release? Oh, I'm sorry I didn't mention that. You see, you're marooned here, and there is no release. <laughs> sorry, mate. <laughs> okay, Jason. What are you up to? It's simple. Wiki is going to lead us to the buried treasure. Treasure at a time like this? Gold and platinum are energy sources. True. They can be used to reactivate the Starfire's power core. Aye, there you go, matey. Are you sure it will work? I give it to you on my word as a gentleman. <laughs> Just one thing. How do we get out of this? When you can't use your hands, you use your head. First, the splinter. Keep me, dear chap. I have something very interesting to show you here. There goes treasure chest. Now you sit there and stay very quiet for a minute. And don't talk. 
Oh, it breaks my heart to have to give such pretty things to Dracos. Ah, well. But you little doll I'm keeping for myself. <laughs> like your friends. So I'm a lackey. <laughs> you think I'm afraid of Dragos? Listen, you saw his big chest over there with all the valuables? No one was allowed to open that, not even me. I'll show you. Captain Kidd fears no one. Not even Dragos. Close that lid. Right. You've done it, Jason. And our friend Kid is waking up. What's going on here? You put your hand in Drago's cookie jar, and he got you. It takes a thief to catch one. Drago's, I failed him. He has no pity. You've got to help me. You've got to help me. Switching off the freeze ray energy must have upset the planet's stability. No time to waste. We better get moving. Gather your men. They don't exist. What? Drago's illusions, mate. Not real, any of them except for me. You're not going to leave me here, are you? Not a chance. Is there any gold in there? Is there? Yes, yes, more than you've ever seen. Good. We need it all. Treasure are processed for the power core. Not much time. The quakes are getting stronger. Here goes nothing, folks. just in time.
What is our status? Not good, sir. Our defense shields are almost inoperative. We won't be up to full strength for six hours. Keep after it, Lieutenant. Every minute counts. Yes, sir. Engine room out. Talk a man calling Starfire. Come in, Starfire. This is Star Command calling Starfire. Come in, Starfire. Our defense shields are down. I have no idea where Jason is. And somewhere out there, Dragos is about to make his move. We're like a sitting duck. but we must be quick about it, Nicole. Our defenses have been weakened and we're extremely vulnerable to attack from Dragos. There's only one way to get the Starfire out of the storm, Commander. Yes, Jason, what is it? Laser cannons. You can't be serious. We need an explosion large enough to upset the magnetism. That should push the Starfire into normal space. But Jason, we don't even know how to fix our location. Oh, listen, mates, you're confusing old Captain Kidd here. Now, we don't need all this stuff to find our position. What do you suggest instead? Well, my dear professor, if you want to sail the seven seas, all you need is four things. That is, a sextant, a compass, a star, and, of course, a good stiff wind. Hold on, Commander. We have an old seaman aboard. He says he can help us. Good luck, Jason. Uh, 
Yes. That's uh, 16 degrees and 15 minutes. You mean you... you've got our location? I certainly have. I'll show you. There. 16 degrees, 15 minutes. Sector 42. Alpha 1. We must take action immediately. Our defense scouts report a large armada of Draco ships heading toward us. We're ready, Commander. I fed the coordinates into the computer. We'll try to hold our course. Set coordinates for laser cannon barrage. Salvos of four. Fire cannon. We set our feet on dry land. Soon, Captain. Soon. Starfire One, Starfire One, do you read? This is the Academy. This is Starfire One. We read you, Commander. We are safely out of the storm. We need help. The Academy is under major attack from Dracos. Hang in there, Commander. Help us on the way. First of all, we have to find Dracos. He can't be too far away. <laughs> himself. Captain Jason, now Dragos was always scared of an attack on his rudder. Rudder? The guidance system center. That might just work. Attack configuration, Nicole. Maybe we can send our friend Dragos on his way. Aye, aye, Captain. <laughs> Why have you not disabled the Academy's defenses? Their defenses are still holding. Target, Quadrant 4. Hold for computer firing. Control. Full turn immediately. He's seen us! Hold our course. We can still do it. Damage, 
You've got the dragon ship. <laughs> the Academy. Well, my friends, thank goodness our defense shields held. And the red dragon ships? Dispersed. Oh, good. They run back to their master with their tails between their legs. <laughs> <laughs> See you all at Star Command. <laughs> and that should be the last we see of Dragos. <laughs> the last of Dragos. I wonder. Damage control report. Yes, Master. All guidance systems are repaired. <laughs> Excellent. Screen all planetary defenses. Yes, Master. Alderaan. Kesh. Irpus. Arcturan. Arcturan, wait. Detect something there. to the robots. Yes, Master. When they have captured them, have them plug the large one into a dragon console immediately. Yes, Master Dracos. Any word from people in Wiki? None, Jason. And frankly, I'm worried. The defense survey of Arcturon should not be taking this long. Now, Nicole, you know the way they love to argue. People doesn't like dragging around a kid brother, especially a four-inch robot. I know, Jason. But Arcturon is in Sector 4, and that's where Dragos was last seen. Jason, I, I just have this feeling that... You're probably right, Nicole. We should check in on them. You never know about Dragos. Let's go. The 
this way. We're getting closer. Yeah. You're right, Wiki. It's a computer input. I think they're up to no good. Wiki, you better go for help. People are around here somewhere. It must be the cave. There's no reason for them to be in a cave. Keep your eyes open. plugged into some direction finder computer. But Jason, on a primitive planet like this, who would... Dracos. Yes. <laughs> oh, this is more than I'd hoped for. <laughs> you and Wiki will have to get to people. I'll keep these ragmop characters busy while you burn the chains and set them free. Wiki, you take care of Nicole. Good luck. You too. Well, here goes nothing. outside. Phew. I think I lost the creature. Me too. Let's see about people. Oh, safe. Wiki distracted one of the creatures while he got back to the ship. Sounds like a good idea for us, too. Right, let's go. Starfire 1 calling Starfire 2. Peepo, do you read me? Starfire 1 calling Starfire 2. Head for home. Excellent, my little Star Command robot. Now come home. To me. Yes, Master. 
<laughs> Last time we saw Peepo Commander, he was right here. Since then, nothing. Understand it. Should have been back hours ago. Commander! Jason, quick! That secret just popped out of nowhere. It what? Well, one minute there wasn't anything, and then just like that it appeared. I saw it too. Well, it just appeared, huh? That's right, I... Jason, we know what we saw. It's disappeared, right before my eyes. Docking ramp to command. Go ahead. Commander, there's a seeker here. I don't know where it came from, much less how. Just all of a sudden, there it was. Notify security. We'll be right there. Yes, sir. Don't you, I saw it. There's no one here. According to my life sensor, there is nothing on this ship that even remotely resembles life as we know it. You mean nothing your life sensor can detect? What was that? Here it is again. Switch on the recorders. What? It could be a high-speed transmission. Turn them on. Play it back as slowly as you can. Help me, please, or my life will soon be over. I'm a victim of Drago's evil. I was able to escape from Drago's captivity, but I have no way of getting to your time dimension. I I'm living in a speed dimension that is 1,000 times faster than yours. That's why you can't see me, but you must help me to return. I'm from the Academy. I'm Lieutenant Matt Prentiss. Prentiss. Lieutenant Matt Prentiss. Well, he's been missing from Star Command for nearly a year. Professor, your time warp energizer compresses time, doesn't it? Yes, but... Let's get back to the control room and try it. There's no time to waste. Come on. I still say this is very dangerous, but I've set the controller at a G7000 increase. By my calculations, this should put you in the same time speed Matt is moving at. Now remember, Jason, you must return in not more than 90 seconds from the time I turn on the Energizer. And if I don't? You and Matt will be in another time dimension cycle. And you'll both be... lost. Man, sorry, I asked. Come on, let's get going. Right, Jason. Stand with your back against the beam and hold the controller in front of you. Jason, your life support system. Thanks, Professor, but I don't need it. Check it. Thank you. You're welcome. Hurry back, Jason. I'll be moving so fast you'll never know I'm gone. soon, folks. I hope.
Chase. I can't believe it. You can really see me and, and shake my hand? Jason, you don't know what that means to me. It's been so long. Almost a year, man. That's how long you've been missing. It seems like a hundred years. Matt, listen to me. We haven't got a second to spare. You're coming back with me. And our first stop on the way back is Star Command. Let's go. Look at them. So near, yet so far. It's almost over, Matt. You're almost home. Home. What a beautiful word. What about you? As soon as you get back, you put the controller on the council. I'll pick it up and I'll be back right in your tracks. See you there, Jason. Good to see you, Matt. Where's Jason? He'll be here in a second. Now stand clear. He's moving very fast. Oh, the time set mechanism. It must have burned out when you returned to normal time. Without it, Jason has no way to control speed. There's only 35 seconds left. If I can just make Parsifoot understand, there's still a chance. It's Jason! Yes, Jason, I can control speed from here, but not without some way of tracking you. Professor, look! Jason's life support system. Yes, yes, of course. All right, Jason, I understand. <sighs> Tracer module is attached. All right, Jason, I've got the tracer locked in on coordinate sensors. Here we go. There are only five seconds left. Look! Jason, you're safe! <laughs> and you, Professor, are brilliant. Jason, <laughs> fantastic. Hey. Jason, how can I thank you? No need, Matt. But I think we would all like to know how you got into that mess. I was captured by Dragos. He's been trying to perfect the ultimate weapon, invisibility. And you were the guinea pig. It's a good thing Dragos doesn't know how successful he was. When he speeded up my life system, I, I disappeared and I was able to escape. Unfortunately, I couldn't bring Pipo with me. Pipo? Dragos has him? Yes. He's he's hooked into Dragos' computer banks. So Dragos really is back in business. Well, we'll have to do something about that. Commander? Yes. Prepare a Starfire for immediate launch. Jason. Thanks for my life. Anytime, Matt. You got a lot of time to make up for it. You better get going. We're at the position Matt last saw the dragon ship. In that case, better be ready for anything. Jason, the heat indicator. Lost 
lateral control. As I was saying, I'm ready for anything. Jason, what is happening? Our radioactive detector must have failed. Hang on. The atomic core. It's overheating. How much time before it becomes critical? 40 seconds. At the most. We better land this thing and fast. Check. Well, there. There's a planet. Oh, but the surface looks too jagged for any kind of landing. It's our only choice. the beam. I want them alive. How much time do we have, Professor? 25 seconds. Hang on, folks. This is it. so much for our transportation. Do you have any idea what planet this is? Oh, I have no idea, but it certainly isn't the warmest planet to be stranded on. Uh, I'd wager we're the first persons to set foot here in a millennium. I wouldn't wager too much on that, Professor. Don't move! Anyone! This is Kesh, planet of Queen Vanessa. You are all her prisoners. Prisoners? Look, we're strangers to your planet. We had to land here because our ship was about to explode. Exactly just as Queen Vanessa planned it. You mean she caused our detector to fail? Enough talk. You will all follow me. Uh, look, uh, friend. I am not your friend. My name is Bork. This is my friend. <laughs> <laughs> Perhaps discretion is the better part of valor, Jason. For the moment. You're absolutely right, Professor. We should do exactly as our friend says. After all, we don't want to mess with that creature. And Nicole, you better hold my hand. The ground on this planet's very slippery. Jason, I'll be okay. But you can't be too certain. Your feet might slip out from under you. It, yeah, your feet. Then where would we be? Of course, I understand. Uh, but I think I could manage by myself. Okay, okay, but don't say I didn't warn you. Oh, Jason! Are you hurt? I don't know. Let me check you. Be quick about it. Queen Vanessa is waiting. All right, friend, all right, all right. We'll just take a minute. We've got to get the box away from Bork. It's linked to the collar around the beast's neck. That's how he controls him. Got it. All right, Professor, we'd better carry Nicole. <laughs> no! It will take too long! Come look for yourself, friend. You! Move back! Now! Don't worry, Jason. I'll handle things. <laughs> No, no, give me that box. 
next fight. Give it back. You stay here. I just want to get that collar off your neck. We'll see your queen now, but on our terms. stories about Jason of Star Command. I am impressed. So impressed you wanted to see if the stories were true by causing our ship's detectors to fail, huh? I knew you would find a way to save yourself. And your friends? I don't understand. I'm surprised. Professor Parsifoot, from what I'm told, there isn't anything the inventive genius of Star Command doesn't understand. Or can't figure out. Look, queen of whoever you are. I want to know what's going on. Ah, Captain Nicole Davidoff. I was wondering when Star Command's fiery computer expert would speak out. You're not quite what I expected. Well, I am sorry to disappoint you. Now, why don't you just tell us what is going on here? Now, Nicole, I'm sure that Vanessa, or Queen Vanessa, was just about to do that. Right, Your Highness? All right, Jason. I won't toy with you any longer. There are forces in the galaxy who will pay well for your services. You mean one force, don't you? Dragos. We have an arrangement. Well, I'm sorry, Your Highness. We too have an arrangement with Star Command. And that's for certain. For very certain. What a pity. As long as you feel that way, none of you will be allowed to leave this planet.
<laughs> Sorry we had to put you to sleep for a few moments, but it was necessary to avoid any embarrassing displays of temper. <laughs> <laughs> My apologies for your simple accommodations. But then it makes housekeeping easy, doesn't it? Now, if you'll excuse me, I must inform Dragos that you are my prisoner. <laughs> Wait. How long do you expect to keep us here? Until Dragos decides what to do with you. You can't keep us here. You stay there for a while or you'll be hotter than you think. <laughs> hotter than we think. What does she mean by that? Oh, don't touch that. That's what she meant. search its memory banks for every possible piece of information about Star Command. <laughs> this is Dragos. Come in, Queen Vanessa of Kesh. Yes, Master. This is Vanessa. I read you loud and clear. Have you captured Jason? Yes, Master, as you commanded. How shall I dispose of him and his friends? Let them stew for a while, then bring them to me. I want to give Jason time to think what I can do to his precious star command while he languishes in my prison. Yes, Master, as you command. <laughs> If only the ship hadn't blown up. I'm afraid it doesn't make much difference, Nicole. Our energy amplifier is dead as the proverbial doornail. Mm. Without a charge, our ship wouldn't lift out of a snowbank. Hold it, Professor. If the energy amplifier was charged and you reverse polarity, what would happen? Well, I suppose it would function in reverse, perhaps reduce instead of amplify. Let me have it. But why? Quickly. Look, stand back. Jason, watch it. How's that, Professor? Fully charged. Excellent. All right, now reverse polarity. Yeah. Okay, what do you want reduced? Me. This is crazy. Not if it works. Stand back. Yeah, Jason, there's... Stand back, Professor. You... you uh... Stand back.
can't move the switch. Take it back. Come on. Our friend Dragos had a little surprise. A surprise for Dragos? Oh no, Jason. You're the one who's in for a surprise. The next time you steal a ship, I suggest you make sure the owner is not on board. Enjoy your nap. We have a long journey ahead of us. Where... Where are you taking us? Why, to where you want to go. To see Dragos, of course! are in, uh, shall we say, safe custody. If you hurt them... Jason! Jason, your friends will remain safe as long as you cause no trouble. Take them away.
need is a little beauty sleep. Sweet dreams. Rods. Let's go see what we can do for people. Master, the other prisoners have escaped. The others? The others? What about Jason? 
Still on the loose, Master. You fool, what are you waiting for? Capture him! Circuits robot. It'll come around to my way of thinking. But before we send you back in your Starfire, we must set the stage for your performance. <laughs> Galactic Typhoon. Perfect place to lose Star Command. Are the neutron jammers in place? Yes, Master. Good. We'll jam Star Command's guidance systems. Neutron jammers in? Now! Yes, Master. <laughs> are we to that galactic typhoon in Voltron sector? Dead ahead, sir. We're on the edge of its gravity now. That is not good. We may not have enough energy to survive a storm that powerful. from returning to the Academy, but Dragos had all your frequencies jammed. What is it, Commander? A galactic typhoon, and we're being drawn into it. Dragos has disabled all our guidance systems. Frankly, 
we're helpless. So Dragos has had the last laugh after all. Sight. The Great Academy drifting to its doom. But I must leave nothing to chance. Thibaut, this is your master speaking. You will do exactly as I say. See, we have tried everything to get away from the typhoon, but its pull is just too great. We're not space dust yet. And since we can't avoid the thing, I say we give it our best shot. We hit it as hard and as fast as we can. What? I think I see what you mean, Jason. If we pass through the typhoon fast enough, it might not affect us. Exactly. Uh, how fast is fast enough? Give me a minute. Jason, the Academy was never designed for that kind of speed. It's liable to come apart long before we reach it. I know it's a big chance, Commander, but it's our only chance. What do you say? Ahead, all engines full. We certainly are. More speed than we've ever had before. Still not enough to get through the typhoon. Let's keep our fingers crossed. Somebody's rigged it for a false alarm. This ship is now under my control. And I am shutting down all engines. What's the matter with him? I don't know. People, this is Jason. I want you to listen to me. I will not listen to you. Your orders mean nothing to me. Jam the door. Jason, we must get those engines started quickly. Not in the lab, not in engineering. Where can he be? Keep away, everybody. I warn you. Stay clear of the control room. 
He's in the control room. Well, let's go. circuits with his programming, but you're still my friend. You are my enemy. Dragos is my friend. Time is running out fast. If we don't get those engines started soon, we'll be caught in a typhoon. People. People, listen, we want to help you. Dragos is my new master. I follow only his orders. People, this is Jason. I want you to listen to me. Stay away. I warn you. I have an energy rod. I will use it on you. Tifo, this is the commander. I order you to open these doors. Dragos is my new master. I follow only his orders. <laughs> People, now hurry and open these doors. Wiki. You tricked me! You should not have done that! Just take it easy, people. Jason, are you all right? I'm fine. Now, people, just relax. You're just suffering from a strong dose of Dragos' programming. Can you fix him, Professor? Oh, I can fix people, Jason. The problem is, can we escape the typhoon? Contact with the galactic storm is 10 seconds, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, we've reached target speed, 2, 1,
energy screens are almost drained. It'll take hours to recharge them. If Drago spots us before then, we'll be sitting ducks. Let's just hope Drago thinks we were destroyed in the typhoon. so sure, fool. I want every centimeter of that typhoon scan just in case. Yes, master. This time, this time, Jason, there is not a power in the universe that can save you. I need to talk with people. Uh, Jason, I don't think that's a good idea. I only need him for a few minutes. You see, Pepo was plugged into the Dragon Ship's computer system. He must have information about Drago's weaknesses. I'll tell you everything I know. First, people, how does Dragos control his creatures? It is the medallion that Dragos wears around his neck. And if the medallion is removed, he can no longer control the creatures? That is correct. That might be just the trick we need. Thanks, people. Thank you, Doctor. Mysterious about. about a way to give the Academy the time it needs to recharge its energy screens. And if we're lucky, settle the score with Dracos. It's all right there. It's just space junk. The edges of that typhoon are, are littered with broken ships that weren't as lucky as we were, that's all. What do you have in mind? Have you ever heard of the legend of the Trojan horse? We're not seriously thinking of hiding out in that old piece of space junk, then sneaking aboard the dragon ship. No, of course not. Oh, we're going to let him invite us in. Huh? Jason, how can you be so sure Drago's won't blast this derelict in the smithereens? Well, that's a question of human nature. In his case, inhuman. But I know Drago's can't resist having a souvenir of his conquest. piece of space junk like this. Master, this is Red Dragon 7. We have found a piece of the Academy. Excellent. So, this is what remains of Star Command's mighty Academy. Yes, Master. Bring that piece of garbage back here to me. I want it to serve as a constant reminder to anyone who stands in the way of Dragos. Yes, Master. <laughs> now, can anyone deny that I, Dragos, am master of the cosmos? <laughs> Power screens are nearly re-energized. And Dragos has picked up the space derelict with Jason and Nicole inside. And now, we wait. And hope that the rest of the plan works. Well, that should keep our little 
been occupied for a while. But how do we get to Dragos? With this, but not by the normal route. As soon as they find Junior here, Dragos is going to have every creature in the ship looking for us. So where to? Outside the ship, on the surface of the planetoid. Let's go. Thanks. What? Jason, here you let him slip through your paws. Find him. Seal off every corridor, but find him. that runs directly to the ceiling of Dragos' throne room. So they want me to wear my climbing boots. We don't need these. Let's go. like this, Dragos, but I figured it was time for a nap. We did it! A piece of cake. Without this, Dragos, you no longer control your army. Star Command. Star Command. This is Jason. Are you there? We read you, Jason. Our plan worked perfectly. Dragos is our prisoner. His days of scheming are over, Commander. Rendezvous at coordinates 0972. On our way. Congratulations to you and Nicole for the splendid job. So, Dracos, your evil dream ends. Not with total power, but with freedom for the creatures you've enslaved for so long. <laughs> duplicate of himself. <laughs> One duplicate. <laughs> rod is useless against us. I suggest you give it to one of us immediately. <laughs> Unless you and Captain Davidorf wish to feel the effect of my IB. Looks like we're trapped, Jason. Worse than that, I think I've led the Academy into an ambush. <laughs> Humans like you will never understand my powers, Jason. At this moment, Star Command is moving toward what they believe is a rendezvous point with you. Totally unaware of the fact that my Red Dragon squadrons are poised for a full-scale attack on them. <laughs> when I give the word, make a break for the door. The Minicat escape pod is there. 
There's a Drago standing right there. It's just an illusion. Break right through it. <laughs> and you, you, Jason, have led them into my ambush. <laughs> what could be more brilliant? <laughs> Back, Dragos. Nicole has warned the Academy. They're ready and waiting. Jason, you do continue to underestimate me. The fact that the Academy is ready for my attack is of little matter. The Dragon ships are not manned by living beings. They are drones, piloted by energy clones controlled by me. And they will do exactly as I say. About it. But I can try. Rest a short while, Jason. And when you awake, it will all be over. The entire galaxy will be mine. Attention all Dragon ships, you are entering firing range. You will commence firing only on my command. Stand by. Yes, Master. So, Mighty Star Command, in a very short while, every one of you will be controlled by this medallion. You will all be my creatures. <laughs> That's what you think. Jason! Listen to me. I'm releasing you from Dragos's control. You may leave the slavery of this evil ship and return to the freedom of your own planet. Commander, 
Yellow Sector Shield is collapsing. Hear me, Star Command. Your conquest is at hand. Not if I can help it. I'm coming for you, Dragos. Guards? Gone. All of them. It's just the two of us. And I'm betting on me. Better try again, Dragos. Sooner or later, that eye of yours is gonna run out of energy. I think we're going to make it. <laughs> well, we sent the last of those unmanned drone ships off into deep space. But you cannot win, Jason. I have set the torpedo lasers to fire automatically as soon as the ship is within firing range. Commander, look! It's heading directly toward us. It looks like the worst is yet to come. Can we get away from it, Commander? Not a chance. After that battle, our energy generators are at rock bottom. Jason's the only one that can help us. You are helpless, Jason. No. You are the one who is helpless. You've lost your power. First your medallion, now your eye beam. The days of evil are all over, Dragos. The ship will self-destruct in two minutes. Let's go. You think you can take me back to your petty justice, Jason? Never! You have won. For now. I'm leaving. But I shall return, I promise you. I will be alive in every dark corner of the universe. In everything evil that happens, I shall be... This is Jason. Jason, the Academy is in serious danger. The Dragon Ship is almost upon us. I know, Commander. Stand by for some fireworks. Fireworks? July. <laughs> I'm glad you liked it. Well, you'd better put some dinner on the stove, folks. I'm coming home. We'll be waiting, Jason. <laughs> <laughs>